Once again, a, a very good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us uh, this Thursday morning. Uh, we would like to welcome you to Brand USA's part two of the Chalo USA webinar series. Today's webinar is based on the concept of USA's road trips, and it will cover the key destinations of Great Palm Springs, Lake Tahoe, Mammoth Lakes, and New Orleans. I, I would like to welcome our speak speakers for today, but just before I get in there and introduce them, I have a few uh, little housekeeping uh, announcements before we get started. But if you'd like to share your insight on these destinations and ask some questions, you can also get to the Q&A tab. Also, please note that all attendees are on mute mode and the webcam is turned off by default. If there's any technical glitch, your webcam or your webcam is turned on, please turn off the same immediately and log out of the system and restart your browser. Those of you who are attending this webinar using their mobile phones, please use the same in landscape mode for a better viewing experience. If you experience any issue like mixing of audio or a lag, please check your internet connection and refresh the browser. Most problems simply get resolved by refreshing your page or browser. If the issue still per persists, try logging out of the system and restarting your browser. It's that simple. If you are experiencing low internet speeds when any video is played, you might get a pop-up saying click for aud audio. Simply click on the button and the experience would be seamless. In case you have any queries during the presentation, like I said before, please type your queries in the Q&A tab, which you see on your screen. It's on the top right-hand corner of the screen inside the webinar's control panel. This control panel can be minimized or maximized. Before, before we move on uh, to this presentation, I'd like to introduce our, our main presenter for the day, who's also a bit of our mod moderator. Her name is Ms. Bhavika Zariwala. She's the Director of Travel Trade for India for Brand USA and is based in, in Mumbai. She will now take you through this presentation. She will introduce you to the other speakers. So sit back and enjoy. It's over to you, Bhavika. Thank you so much, Sheldon. And good morning, everybody. Big thank you for joining us today. We hope all of you are hale and hearty. It's a beautiful, sunny day after the storm in Mumbai today. Um, and I'm Bhavika from Brand USA. A warm welcome on behalf of all our partners who are joining us today. Today is the second part of the Chalo USA webinar series that is going to continue once a month in September. The idea behind this webinar series is to provide the latest travel updates on what's happening and also to provide our US partners an opportunity to connect with you directly. Today's theme is US road trips, and road trips are very synonymous with the United States, which is an amazing self-drive destination with great roads and scenic views throughout. Today's session will give you an idea on how to create great US road trips for your clients and learn a thing or two about self-driving in the US. Today, we also have a special presentation from Maria Manzella, who's the Director of Tourism at New Orleans and Company. We also have Tony Lyle, a Vice President at Lake Tahoe Visitors Authority. We have Kaveri Kathuria joining us from her own hometown in Karnal. She's the India Rep for Mammoth Lakes Tourism. And we also have Christina Colney from Sarsna Global Marketing, who's going to represent Greater Palm Springs, joining us from Delhi. Here's a flow of today's webinar. We're going to begin with some updates from Brand USA, followed by the destination presentations, and we'll end with Q&As towards the end of the session. A, a road trip across the US is a fun way of seeing a lot of diverse landscapes, experiencing different cultures, and meeting interesting people. Also, the good news is that a lot of states in the US have already opened for tourism and or are opening for tourism by the end of May or by mid-June which is great for the return of leisure travel domestically within the United States, as well as internationally for India once the temporary travel ban is lifted. Let's begin with some good to know information about self-driving in the US. So once you've rented a vehicle, remember uh, driving in the US is on the right side of the road. 
Fuel is sold by the gallon and is offered in three levels of octane. And most car rental companies only require the use of regular gas. Hitchhiking is illegal on the interstate highway system. Also, always inform your clients to watch out for wildlife, uh, particularly deer in a lot of the interstate as well as rural areas. On the screen are some of the major uh, companies where you can rent cars, RVs, which are recreational vehicles, mainly used to kind of get around national parks, and as well as motorcycle rentals. We'll be sending a link to all these companies uh, at the end of the session. Also, a few tips uh, on self-driving in the US. Be sure to book early online and pay in advance to save money. Please know that the cost of car rentals vary for each location and often include different rates at different times of the week. Weekends are generally cheaper. And try to always plan a round trip for your clients. So for example, if you're going to pick up a car at San Francisco airport, have the drop off at San Francisco airport. It will save you a lot of money because a drop off in a, in a different location can significantly increase the rates. You can also drive in the US with an India chip card driver's license, as most of you may know. Here are some of the self-drive badges that we really encourage you to complete to know more about self-driving in the US. So we have the fly, fly Drive Specialist Badge, which will give you information on all that you need to know to promote road trips in the US. These badges are available on the USC Discovery Program, which is a free online training platform created to upskill registered agents to sell the USA as a leisure travel destination. A quick recap on GoUSA TV. This is a free OTT platform powered by Brand USA, and it's free to use. We really hope you download this on your mobile app, and it's great to kind of virtually visit the USA and learn more about uh, various regions in the US while sitting at home. We also have a dedicated travel trade website. So this is your go-to for any info that you need, whether it's the travel updates, images, videos, uh, create, you know, curated itineraries, which are themed, as well as receptive tour operator details. So quick recap on the travel guidelines page, which is found on our travel trade website. Uh, once travel resumes, you can refer to the, this resource to check guidelines in various states. However, most of the states have lifted uh, most of the uh, restrictions that they had pre-COVID as the US is now recovering. Here's a quick review of the flights between India and the United States under the air bubble agreement. Currently, Air India has curtailed its frequency for its flights to Chicago, Washington, DC, New York, and San Francisco. United Airlines has postponed the new route that they were about to launch in the end of this month, which is a San Francisco-Bangalore route. So it's postponed from the 27th of May to the 1st of August this year. Their daily services between Delhi, Newark, Bombay, Newark, as well as Delhi, San Francisco remain unaffected. Their Chicago, Delhi service will be temporarily paused for the month of June and will resume in July. Here's a quick look at the US map. I've marked out the destinations which will be presented today uh, on the map for your reference. We will shortly begin with a, uh, an update on New Orleans, which is a great road trip destination. It's located in the south, right next to Texas. You can easily plan a road trip from Houston to New Orleans and also start from Atlanta, which is in Georgia, just above Florida, covering Nashville, Memphis, and ending in New Orleans. You could also begin from Orlando, as Orlando to Atlanta is about four to five hours drive. Our first presenter for the day is Maria Manzella, who has been in the travel industry for over 20 years. She is based in New Orleans and is passionate about creating travel experiences for others and loves being part of the organization, which has a purpose of improving New Orleans economy through tourism. Over to Maria. Hello, and thank you for inviting us to join today. My name is Maria Manzella, and I am the Director of Tourism at New Orleans & Company, the Tourism Bureau and Marketing Organization for the City of New Orleans. 
which is known as the birthplace of jazz and known for a variety of food and cuisines from all over the world. New Orleans is a special place where the residents enjoy the city as much as our visitors do. You'll discover when you visit New Orleans, enjoy an authentic experience, the culture of the South of the United States. You won't be able to resist the aroma of the wonderful food, the great music on our streets, the fun people, and the European charm of our historic districts. We are on the Mississippi Delta, about 60 miles from the Gulf of Mexico, founded by the Canadian explorer Jean-Baptiste Lemoyne, uh, within driving distance to closer gateways and with direct flight connections to cities like New York and Chicago, um, different cities in Florida, California, and Texas as well. The short video I'm sharing with you today will give you a glimpse of what the culture in New Orleans is all about, and that is easy going. It invites you to take your time and stroll through the streets of the historic neighborhoods, enjoying our music, enjoying traditional New Orleans and Louisiana dishes and cocktails. Pay close attention to the jazz music in the background because it will definitely get you ready for a happy hour. <laughs> Doesn't that video make you want to dance? It makes me smile every time. Uh, but everything that you saw here, the music venues, the restaurants, and the attractions are all in the downtown area. New Orleans is a small uh, city in size and very easy to get around. Most major attractions are found in the downtown map, um, the area depicted here on this map. For those attending meetings and conventions, the convention center is in the warehouse district along the river and within walking distance from hotels. The hotel product varies and can accommodate all budgets from large hotel chains to boutique hotels, from luxury hotels to the unique independently owned hotels, families and business travelers will be very comfortable. The most famous neighborhood of New Orleans is the French Quarter, which is here uh, in Orange known for its bohemian charm. Here you'll find Jackson Square, um, you'll have access to the riverboat cruises, Bourbon Street fun and nightlife, old world architecture and century old restaurants. With restaurants open in and around the city, you can find food from uh, Cajun, Creole, French, Italian, Spanish, and Caribbean influences. Some of the dishes that you will find in many of the restaurants and that every visitor must try while visiting here are the beignets, gumbo, jambalaya, the pralines, and the bananas foster, which is a dessert that was created in one of our most acclaimed restaurants. New Orleans celebrity chefs, Emeril Lagasse, um, Leah Chase, Paul Verdome, and now most recently Donald Link and Nina Compton have made our food famous around the world. Several of our cooking schools also provide visitors with a hands-on experience at New Orleans dishes, or if they prefer, they can sit back and relax while enjoying uh, a home cooked meal. Music, of course, is part of our culture. Here you can find an exciting music performance any night of the week. Currently, the venues are open until 1 a.m. due to the COVID restrictions. But New Orleans is home to Zydeco, gospel, jazz, funk, R&B, and rock and roll styles. Live entertainment is found throughout the city in the French Quarter on Frenchman Street, Uptown, and more neighborhoods. Notable musicians are Louis Armstrong, Ellis Marsalis, and Pete Fountain. For nightlife, gamers will feel right at home at Harris Casino. For sightseeing, um, our travelers are able to enjoy what New Orleans has to offer with the new safety protocols, with the exception of just a few attractions still not operating. Safety protocols and social distancing practices are being enforced by each vendor based on their capacity limits. 
But don't let that prevent you from selling the city of New Orleans. There is something for everyone to enjoy, including the nightlife, restaurants, history, and family-friendly activities. Um, the river cruises, which offer lunch or dinner uh, with jazz, um, history tours, walking tours, plantation and historic estate tours, nightlife, um, um, and also um, ghost and vampire tours. For the families, New Orleans is known for the fun and nightlife options, but the city welcomes visitors of all ages. There are options for outdoor activities for families, as well as options for teenagers and young adult visitors. The mid-city lanes rock and bowl, where you can enjoy live music and bowling, is great family fun and also a nightlife option. The Audubon Nature Institute's zoo, aquarium, and insectarium, um, the French market, in existence since 1791, offers arts, crafts, and local produce with local uh, food vendors. Mardi Gras World, which is the largest warehouse in the city, housing the parade floats for carnival year every year, where you can watch artists working on future carnival designs while you tour the facility. City Park, where adventures for the whole family include an amusement park, a museum of art, a children's museum, Outdoor activities like a sculpture garden, mini golf, um, kayaking, boat and bike rentals also offers golf courses and tennis, um, tennis courts. For those who like shopping and art, the international visitor will receive tax-free shopping across the state of Louisiana. New Orleans is a magnet for artists. Visitors will find and are able to buy handmade pieces at art markets or galleries on Julia Street. Royal Street is a home to bohemian boutiques, antique shops, and jewelry stores right in the heart of the French Quarter. On Magazine Street in the Garden District, you will find vintage and costume shops along with art studios, spa, and restaurants and cafes. And in downtown New Orleans, you will find well-known names at shopping centers such as Canal Place and the Outlet Collection at Riverwalk. What's new for attractions in New Orleans? The newest additions are geared for the whole family. Um, one is Jam Nola. It's a collaboration from more than 20 local artists displaying their art and music in an interactive exhibit for all ages. Tickets must be purchased in advance and prices vary. The Sazerac House is a museum with exhibits showcasing the cocktail and the history of the cocktail in New Orleans. The Sazerac cocktail was created in New Orleans in the 1850s and is now served around the world. So the visitor can learn about drinks and distilling methods and enjoy free samples of liquors as well. The tours are complimentary. There is no admission charge to this museum with interactive exhibits. Located on Canal Street, across from the French Quarter, space is limited for daily tours and tastings. Reservations are recommended in advance. As far as our new hotel product, in this slide, you have the opportunity to have a, a peek at the newest hotel product in New Orleans, a varied hotel product for all budgets, as I mentioned earlier, each one with their unique feel and designs and sizes. Most are located throughout the downtown area, like the Four Seasons Hotel is uh, hotel and residences. The uh, Virgin Hotels, which will open in August, is scheduled to open August of 2021. Um, and the Chloe, which is a hotel, a boutique hotel in the uptown neighborhood of New Orleans with accolades already received since its opening a few months ago. Outside of New Orleans and the region, approximately 30 minutes away from the downtown area, New Orleans is surrounded by swamps. Several tour companies offer swamp bayou tours on boats where you can see alligators and other wildlife. Many companies offer transportation to and from the hotels, making it even easier to access these nearby swamps. You can enjoy the quiet barges or airboat tours, which can accommodate a different size groups. You can also explore the history of the south of Louisiana uh, and visit the historic homes along the Mississippi River. Each one of these historic estates offers a tour that focuses on the different aspects of, of the home. You can learn about the life of the slaves, the Civil War, the families that lived in the states, as well as the sugarcane plantation in what it was colonial Louisiana. The Greater River Road Museum is now open at Homa's House, the newest attraction on the River Road. Also known for great food, this region celebrates 
influences from France, Spain, Germany, and Africa. And they are da daily guided tours and are available. Um, some restaurants also on the premises and overnight accommodations. Now, for the resources um, that we have available for the travel agent on our website at neworleans.com, the webpage for uh, New Orleans for agents is neworleansforagents.com. All of the tools, our resources for the travel agent um, can be found on our website. It provides a comprehensive up-to-date event calendar, also serve seven certification courses to become an expert in all things New Orleans. We invite you to use our collection of photos and videos to promote New Orleans as a premier leisure destination. We can provide you with a list of hotels that offer commissionable packages. We also have a virtual fam tour available to make it easier to know New Orleans and explore while travel restrictions are still in place. As for our reopening safety guidelines, New Orleans is open for business and the hospitality industry has taken the steps to make sure our guests and employees are safe. It is important that you keep in mind the restrictions are constantly changing and being updated. Our website provides the traveler with the updates and on the New Orleans website, you will also find a link to the city of New Orleans website, as well as the website for the CDC for travel guidelines. Currently in the city of New Orleans, in the state of Louisiana, there are no restrictions for quarantine. The city of New Orleans does require that you wear a mask. Um, venues, restaurants, and um, uh, attractions are, oh, sale of alcohol is open until one in the morning. Um, please visit our website for updates at neworleans.com. Um, also keep in mind that contact tracing protocols may be enforced in the different attractions and restaurants that you visit. I hope that this short presentation in inspires you to not only come visit us here in New Orleans, but to sell our destination with confidence. We are here to help if you have any questions. Thank you for allowing us to visit with you today, and uh, we hope to see you soon. That was a presentation from New Orleans. Uh, it can be easily done as a self-drive or a van tour or as a, a group to itinerary as well. You can begin in uh, Austin, come down to San Antonio, cover Houston, and then kind of end in New Orleans. Or you can start from Florida, where you start with Orlando. It has a large international airport, move on to Atlanta, cover Nashville, Memphis. Uh, you can then end in New Orleans. So it can be an easily 15 to 20 nights itinerary that can be planned for your clients. We really hope you enjoyed that presentation. So we're now going to fly from New Orleans to the coast of California and we're landing into San Francisco airport. Uh, we have just picked up our car from San Francisco airport and driven four hours to Lake Tahoe. And our next presenter for the day, Tony Lyle, uh, he has 25 years of experience in the tourism and destination marketing industry. He's been in India several times and many of you may have met him at our annual sales missions in the past. So get ready now. Tony is going to help us discover Lake Tahoe. Over to Tony. Hi, everybody. My name is Tony Lyle. Thank you for joining me today. I work for the Lake Tahoe Visitors Authority here in California, but also in Nevada. So I represent the southern half of Lake Tahoe, the city of South Lake Tahoe in California and state line Nevada. Now we'll see um, shortly a map and I'll show you that the state line between California and Nevada goes right the way through the middle of our town. Kind of crazy, eh? And the downtown area is not in the middle, it's at one end, but we'll get to that shortly. Let me start sharing my screen with you. Uh, let's get the right screen. Here we go. And as I said, I am from Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe really is one of the most beautiful places in the world. This is Emerald Bay. It's a must-see place at Lake Tahoe, truly beautiful, and you get that money shot um, photograph from up above. 
We're proud to have been awarded the safe travel stamp from the World Travel and Tourism Council. So you can be sure that our destination and our vendors are all following the correct protocols. So in the top, at the top there, you have the United States and you can see California and Nevada. We're easy to find, we're right on the corner uh, between California and Nevada. We're only about an hour from Reno International Airport and there is a shuttle bus from Reno. Sacramento's about two hours away and San Francisco about three and a half, four hours away. Los Angeles and Las Vegas together are about an eight hour drive away. This is all driving times. A closer look, this is a classic itinerary starting and finishing in San Francisco. Um, you go up to Napa and Sonoma wine country, come along Highway 50 to Lake Tahoe, and then you can go down to Yosemite. Depending on the season, you can either go on 395 um, or go in from the West Gate. And then you find your way back through the foothills, some really cool kind of um, railroad cowboy towns in the foothills there, uh, back to Sacramento and after some outlet shopping back to San Francisco. This is another view. People are very uh, familiar with Highway 1 going from San Francisco to Los Angeles along the coast or back and forth. Um, but this is a different way to go from San Francisco to LA through the mountains. Lake Tahoe, Yosemite, Death Valley, you could go off to Las Vegas and then coming into Los Angeles via Palm Springs. So this is what I was talking about. This is our downtown area. That line you can see on the mountains behind is basically the state line. California to the right, Nevada to the left. Goes right the way through town and then into the lake. So those four big buildings you can see in the middle, they're in Nevada and they're casino resort hotels, uh, 500 rooms each, full service. And then in the foreground next to the beach, you can see a building. That's the new Edgewood Lodge, five star, right on the water. There's nothing like it around the lake. And it's even got its own golf course. On the California side, you can't really see the hotels because they're in the trees and the building code's different. So they're lower level. There's a 400 room all suite, full service hotel, and then a multitude of other properties that will suit every kind of budget. For me, I like the hotels that are off the screen to the right, that go another eight kilometers, another five miles, um, with hotels dotted along the shore, where you can open your curtains in the morning, you're right on the beach and you're looking directly at the lake. So when you're looking at a hotel, please consider the location of it. Just because it's got the name Tahoe in it doesn't need, mean to say that it's right by the water. You want to be as close to the water as possible. So Lake Tahoe is all about the outdoors. Camping is also available. There's loads of campsites. Um, getting out on a bicycle, you can rent these bikes. There's a network of, of easy paved uh, bike trails around the lake. Well, just get up into the mountains. There's easy walking, there's mountaineering. You make it as difficult as you like by picking your trail, but you can be in locations like this within minutes from um, the hotel area. All about just sitting there and taking it all in, watching the sunrise, watching the sunset. We do have the gondola that goes from the downtown area up into, up into Heavenly Mountain Resort. It's open during the summer for sightseeing and access to hiking trails. And also in the, the winter, it's one of the access points um, to get on the mountain to go ski and snowboard. This is another view of Edgewood looking outward. So there's the, the golf course. We've got world-class golf courses um, all around the south shore of the lake. And then marinas. This water is crystal clear and 99.9% .9 pure. The deepest point is over 500 meters and there are many marinas where you can rent power boats and jet skis and get out on the water yourself. You would drive this boat yourself. Um, you just need ID, they'll give you a bit of training and it's pretty straightforward. You can rent jet skis, kayaks, paddle boards, and this water really is this color. The lake acts like a big 
the mirror and it reflects the color of the sky. There's also cruises. So this boat, the MS Dixie, goes from the east side of the lake in Nevada all the way across into California, into Emerald Bay. It's three stories. It has a restaurant, a bar, there's proper toilets on board. And this is extremely popular uh, for people to go and see Emerald Bay. But it doesn't have to cost. You can just sit on the beach. Um, that water is cold. Um, it's, it's still a little cold during the summer. It does warm up towards the end of the summer um, because it's all snow melt. But you could just go to the supermarket, buy some food and drink, and just go hang out on the beach. Or you can go to one of our many beach bars and restaurants and just hang out there and people watch. Now, a lot of these are open uh, right now, but there are restrictions in place. Um, so there's capacities um, on indoor dining and then outdoor dining. There's not as many tables as this normally. And of course, all these people are wearing masks. Lots of shopping, boutique galleries, restaurants in the Heavenly Village, which is downtown where the gondola goes from. Very popular for honeymoons and weddings. And then normally during the summer, we have an outdoor concert series. We'll have about 20 concerts throughout the summer. World-class acts passing through California and Nevada will stop um, at Lake Tahoe and perform here in the outdoor amphitheater. In 2020, we obviously didn't have any concerts. For 2021, we're hoping we might see a few, but for sure they'll be definitely back for 2022. Did I say 2021? Doubtful. 2022, yeah, we should be back to normal. Um, but we've had people like Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars, and even Pitbull play at Lake Tahoe. The casinos, you don't necessarily need to go to Las Vegas if you want casino action. Um, they're all open. Um, there are physical distancing protocols in place, masks worn all, at the all the time. Um, it feels very safe. I was there um, last week um, for another event, um, and there were a lot of people in there. There's capacity limits in the casino as well, but we have our casinos. And normally we have our nightlife. Slowly things are opening up through um, May and June. Um, all of the restaurants are open, but with capacity limits inside. There's also outside dining. Um, bars and nightclubs currently, um, they're inside, of course, so they're not open, but we're hoping that they will open mid-summer um, and, and people can party 24-7. In the winter, we've got 15 ski resorts. Um, they've just closed. Um, this is upside down, so south is at the north, at the top and north is at the bottom, so you see Heavenly there um, at the top. Um, down on the South Shore, we claim three of these. Heavenly, obviously it's the largest ski resort on the west coast of America. Kirkwood and also Sierra at Tahoe. It's called Heavenly for some reason. I mean, look at those views. It truly is spectacular and Heavenly is known for these jaw-dropping um, views. All sorts of terrain suitable for beginners, intermediate and advanced skiers and snowboarders. But you don't have to ski. So if, if, if you're in a party and you don't ski, you can go snowmobiling. You drive these things yourself. Um, you do have a guide to show you where to go, but you go along the ridge lying high above uh, Lake Tahoe. Spectacular views. These snowmobiles can accommodate one or two people, a single or a double. But what's actually most popular is just playing in the snow with the kids. Um, a lot of people who visit Lake Tahoe have never seen snow before and they just want to play in it, make a snowman and throw snowballs at each other. This is in the Heavenly Village. There's an ice rink during the winter and in the summer they turn it into a mini crazy golf course. More leisurely activity, a sleigh ride. So you can take a horse-drawn sleigh ride over snow in the winter, and then in the summer, they're carriage rides. And the carriage rides go all the way around um, the downtown area of South Lake Tahoe. 
And again, here's um, Emerald Bay. There's that cruise boat. It goes 365 days a year. Um, and you can get to Emerald Bay and experience it from down on the water. But that's all I have for you today. Let me stop my sharing. There we go. That's all I have for you today. Um, it's been a tough year. Um, we seem to be coming out of it slowly with the vaccination pace really picking up here in the US. Um, I'm lucky to have received both of my Pfizer vaccinations. Um, so we're getting back to some kind of normalcy. We have been busy, believe it or not, all the way through COVID. People wanting to get to the um, outdoors, wide open spaces, and we're ideally suited for that, for physical distancing, um, but also just to enjoy the outdoors. We do have, um, on our website, we do update um, daily the current protocols and restrictions. So if you go to tahosouth.com, you'll see a banner right at the very top, and it says destination update. If you click that, it'll tell you the current protocols. Also, remember, it is the great outdoors, so we want people to travel, vacation, and recreate responsibly. Remember, it's the outdoors. Uh, we need you to be safe in so many different ways. Um, so check out the website, tahosouth.com. And um, if you have any questions whatsoever, um, please feel free to email me. Thank you, Tony. I hope all of you all enjoyed this virtual visit to Lake Tahoe. That was a great presentation. I see a couple of questions on Lake Tahoe, uh, which we will definitely take towards the end of the webinar. Uh, we have Kaveri, who's also the India rep for Lake Tahoe, who will be addressing all these questions. We, we are now going to drive from Lake Tahoe to Mammoth Lakes, which is about two and a half hours drive away, and over to Kaveri Katsuria, who's joining us from Karnal to help us discover Mammoth Lakes. Thank you, Bhavika. And a big thank you to everyone who has joined in today. Hope you're all keeping safe and healthy. As Bhavika said, it's time to move on to our next outdoor destination, Mammoth Lakes, which is approximately two hours from Lake Tahoe. It is known for its magnificent mountains, beautiful lakes, natural scenery, wildlife, and of course, a lot of outdoor adventure. I actually would like to begin today's presentation with this short message by Michael Wanderhust, who is the Director of Sales and Marketing at Mammoth Lakes Tourism. Hello, it's Michael Vanderhurst from Mammoth Lakes Tourism. Hopefully we'll see you here in Mammoth Lakes sooner than later. You can see it's another gorgeous day in the mountains. Thank you. Mammoth Lakes is open for leisure travel. In fact, we had a very busy winter with locals visiting the destination. As you can see on the screen, hotels are open, restaurants are also open with limited capacity. All the safety protocols like wearing masks and uh, you know, social distancing are in place. Now let's find out how do we connect to Mammoth Lakes? Well, it's a very accessible destination as it is close to the gateway destinations like San Francisco and LA. Uh, if I talk about the driving distance, it takes about five hours from San Francisco, LA and Vegas. Why? I can also show it to you on the map. As you can see, Mammoth Lake is 
right there in the center and then if you uh, see san francisco la and vegas is almost at a equi distance uh, from mammoth lakes and uh, you can also take a flight we have yosemite national uh, we have uh, mammoth yosemite airport which is located only 12 minutes from the town so yeah we have a lot of uh, direct flight options from san francisco la denver on united airlines besides uh, this uh, you can also uh, you can also travel to death valley national park or you can travel to la or vegas i would recommend going to vegas first in case so that you can make la as your exit point let's find out more about the destination with this interesting video now Our town is four square miles. Our backyard is three million. So get lost. <laughs> But like, in a good way. Woohoo! Mammoth Lakes, no small adventure. Find your own special spot at visitmammoth.com. Now, why Mammoth Lake is a perfect road trip destination? One. the drives are extremely scenic second it's very well connected to the gateway destination as i said like sf and la third the weather is absolutely amazing all around the year so yeah there are plenty of reasons for adding mammoth lakes to your self drive slash road trip itineraries this is a sample road route of course you can customize this depending upon the client's requirements Here we we'll begin with San Francisco and then we go to Lake Tahoe. You can cover Sacramento and Napa Valley on the way. From Lake Tahoe to Mammoth Lakes is about four or uh, two hours drive. Take a day trip from Mammoth Lakes to Yosemite National Park, and then from here, as I said, you can go to Vegas or LA. In case that's the end of the itinerary, I would prefer going to Las Vegas first, so you can make LA as your exit gateway. we have adventures for every season so you say it's summer winter fall or spring let's find out more with this exciting video venture beyond your wildest dreams and find yourself among the unbelievable this is a place where adventure knows no season Where Mother Nature's favorite colors paint a backdrop for your next epic story. Let your wonder wander through double take territory to the place where that just happened, just happens. Here, time isn't measured by the seasons that pass, but by the adventures that surpass all expectations. So as I said we have adventure for every season trust me there are plenty of things that you can do throughout the year uh, since I won't be able to cover all of them today so I've just hand picked a few experiences that I'm going to showcase uh, in my upcoming slides So the first is a day trip to Yosemite National Park which is about 45 minutes drive if you take a Tioga pass exploring the park with a day trip from Mammoth has its own advantages let me tell you why one Finding accommodation in the park could be quite challenging, so you can always keep Mammoth Lake as a perfect base to explore the park. Second, it could get really hot in the valley in summers in the park, so you could bring your clients to Mammoth Lakes and they can enjoy all together a different weather. Uh, moving on to our next activity, hiking. So we have more than hundred different trails from flat to difficult. It's a must-do activity for couples. for kids with families and uh, everybody who loves the outdoor adventure you can also take a scenic gondola ride which is basically a cable car ride well it's a must do activity because of two reasons one you can experience the wit and witness the beauty of high sierra mountains with this cable car ride also this cable car ride has the highest lift access in california and it's open throughout the year so whichever a uh, month that you're visiting you can take the scenic gondola we have more than 100 streams and lakes which makes fishing quite a popular activity in fact fishing in mammoth lake is local favorite every year all the locals keep on visit, uh, keep on waiting for the fishing season to resume as as i said it's their uh, it's their favorite sport or favorite hobby 
Uh, now you must be wondering that we are only popular, say, for uh, outdoor adventure. Then that's not really true because we have a lot of shops and restaurants as well. But before that, we also have Mammoth Lakes Basin and uh, where you can explore a group of lakes. In fact, you can take the free Lakes Basin trolley, which takes you the past, uh, which takes you past the five lakes of the region. Now, moving on to the winter adventure, there's something for everybody, as I said. So winter is heaven for all the snow lovers. One can do skiing, snowboarding, or other soft adventures like snowcat tours, snow tubing, sleigh rides. Let me just give you a gist of Mammoth Lake's winter with this amazing video. So yeah, winters in Mammoth Lakes has always been a very busy time for us. And there are plenty of accommodations, be it luxury hotels, vacation rentals, private homes, and the highest category room that we have is at the Hotel Westin. I also have put a picture of the Hotel Westin here on this slide. And all the mountain lovers, or I would say snow lovers, can simply rent ski and uh, ski in and out condos, which are basically houses located on the mountains. In summers, we have a lot of music, craft beer, food, uh, fine festivals every weekend. So you can integrate these festivals to bring in the local elements as well in the itineraries. So these are my contact details. In case you have any query, please feel free to get in touch with me. In case you need any pictures or video assets that you would like to promote on your social media platforms or a website or in any sort of blogs, then please uh, contact me. And you can see the website details, www.visitmammoth.com if you need any more information about the destination. Yeah, thank you again for joining in today. I'll hand it over to Bhavika now. Thank you so much, Kaveri, for helping us discover the slopes, uh, the snowy, snowy slopes of Mammoth Lakes. So guys, uh, just a quick reminder, if you want to click on the handouts page right now, uh, you can kind of do that. I've put in all the websites for your use. So you have Yelp and Open Table, which are for Indian mm -hmm. restaurants. You have the US Travel Updates, the Brand USA uh, Travel Team website, the USA Discovery Program information, as well as all our partner destinations websites, which you can click in. We've also put in a link for the webinar feedback. So if you're enjoying today's webinar, please go ahead and share uh, share your comments with us. We'd love to hear from you. So after the great outdoors, we are driving down now to the Greater Palm Springs, which is a luxurious oasis and a six hours drive away from Mammoth Lake. After a great long road trip, you now need some spa, resort and outdoor time. Over to Christina to help us explore Greater Palm Springs. Thank you, Bhavika. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining in today. It's so nice to see everybody commenting on the comment section. So I'm excited to present Greater Palm Springs. I'm not so sure uh, how many of you have kind of uh, sold your destination before or how familiar you are. So today, let's go explore uh, Greater Palm Springs. Okay, so let's start. Greater Palm Springs, if you're not uh, familiar with the destination, is Southern California's most storied resort oasis. It encompasses nine cities, which includes Palm Springs, which I'm sure you have heard about, Desert Hot Springs, Cathedral City, Rancho Mirage, Palm Desert, Indian Wells, La Quinta, Indio and Coachella, and each offering its own blend of experiences. Now let's start with a short uh, video on Greater Palm Springs.
Um, on June 15th, California, uh, as I think some of you may have heard, is going to fully reopen its economy if two criteria are met. And first is equitable vaccine availability. So if the vaccine supply is sufficient for Californians 16 years and older uh, who wish to be inoculated. And secondly, if, the consistently, uh, if they consistently have low burden of disease, which means that hospitalizations are stable and low, and specifically um, hospitalizations among fully vaccinated individuals are low. And at this rate, as Bhavika mentioned, um, I think U.S. is doing pretty well. And uh, so I think California will fully reopen by uh, June 15th. So uh, the Greater Palm Springs tourism industry made a pledge to implement the latest safety guidelines developed by the state of California and leading industry associations. And while the uh, safety of the visitors, staff, and local community has always been a top priority, they recognize it's even more critical today. And they are offering this pledge and sharing the additional steps their local businesses and tourism partners are now taking so you can feel confident that their Oasis remains a healthy, positive, and inclusive destination for all. And more than 450 local businesses have taken the pledge to keep Greater Palm Springs safer. And their Safer Together, Greater Together pledge uh, offers a unified commitment destination-wide among all businesses. In terms of location, uh, Greater Palm Springs is very conveniently located. It's only two hours drive from Los Angeles and San Diego. So I think that's one point to kind of remember when you're building an itinerary. So two hours only drive from Los Angeles and San Diego, and it is a four hour drive from Las Vegas and Phoenix. So you can easily club it with your uh, Las Vegas and Southern California itinerary. The Palm Springs International Airport uh, welcomes over 1 million passengers annually and provides direct flights to 39 US and Canadian cities. So if you don't want to come back to LA and fly out or you know, take another uh, gateway out, you can easily fly out of uh, Palm Springs International Airport. So Greater Palm Springs' four brand pillars reflect what the nine resort cities have in common relative to appealing to various visitors. From natural underground springs uh, that for centuries have been one of California's most prized natural wonders to the picturesque canyons and mountain backdrops. It's easy to see why the Native Americans of the area once considered its sacred ground. And with more than 300 days of sunshine a year and eye-popping scenery in all directions, the wellness rewards of spending a day in out, uh, outdoor Greater Palm Springs are bountiful. The destination invites you to live greater, feel the sun, walk on the blue open sky, hike through untouched palm groves, reconnect with nature, and reawaken the possibility within. Since the days of the earliest Native American settlers in the area, and later when old Hollywood came to relax in the healing hot spring waters, the magical sun-kissed oasis has been a destination for relaxation and wellness. Besides the legendary mineral hot uh, spring waters, there are more than a thousand miles of breathtaking trails for epic hikes in the in, uh, untouched Indian canyons and surrounding the Santa Rosa and San uh, Jacinto Mountains. Our nine unique resort cities merge into a single serene and natural escape. There are ancient waterfalls, light-filled spas surrounded by whispering palms, and whatever brings you joy, you'll find it here in Palm Springs. You can discover an oasis of art and culture from world-famous concerts and festivals to modern museums, public art installations, and galleries. Greater Palm Springs is rich in art and cultural experiences. So it's a, a, an amazing destination uh, for art and culture lovers. Art lovers will find plenty to see their, set their sights on from contemporary exhibits and fine arts to local artist galleries, murals, and outdoor sculptures. Architecture and design are another big draw. And thanks to a wealth of uh, mid-century modern uh, designs from renowned architects, including Albert Frey, Donald Wexler, John Lautner, and E. Stewart Williams. And soak up some culture during your stay and plentiful uh, Theater productions uh, are available with concerts and live entertainment throughout the Oasis. And in fact, when in Palm Springs, doing an architectural tour uh, is one of the must-dos uh, when you visit. 
The flavors and tastes of Greater Palm Springs are as varied as the nine cities and eateries that make up the Southern California oasis. We have charming cafes uh, lining downtown Palm Springs to fine dining restaurants in Palm Desert's uh, Al Pesio shopping district. The destination's rich agricultural bounty and world-class uh, resort brought the most innovative chefs from around the globe who specialize in fresh farm-to-table fare and serve uh, creative twists on American classics and international cuisine. There is a vast collection of accommodations in Greater Palm Springs. It is easy to find the perfect property that suits you. From family-friendly resorts to adult-only boutique hotels, private homes and historic mid-century properties to modern hotels, there's an option for everyone when it comes to vacationing in Greater Palm Springs. And thanks to the abundance of sunny days and warm winter weather, Greater Palm Springs is a year-round playground for those who enjoy being active and those who don't as well. There is plenty of things to do in Greater Palm Springs for all types of uh, visitors. So the destination annually hosts, uh, plays host to a variety of internationally recognized sporting events, music, art and film festivals, culinary showcases, and much more. So throughout the year, there's events and festivals that keeps uh, happening. So California is home to three deserts, which is the Mojave, the Colorado, and the Great Basin. Unlike anywhere else in the state, or for the matter in the world, the California deserts are a theme park on its own. The region lures uh, visitors to elevations of thousands of feet above uh, to more than 280 feet below sea level, and it offers health and wellness in the natural hot mineral waters that bubble to its surface, and also lays claim to hundreds of old mines and ghost towns hidden in its mysterious hills and valleys. Please visit the Greater Palm Springs website for more information and downloadable brochures as well, and also get trained by the online training program. Uh, so we have the USA Discovery Program, which will uh, provide you with insight on Palm Springs, as well as the California Star Program, which also gives you insight into Greater Palm Springs as well. And this is Gary's uh, contact. So Gary Orfield is the Director of Tourism Development in Greater Palm Springs, and his contact information is on the screen. You can reach out to him directly if you have any questions on Greater Palm Springs, or you can contact me or contact Bhavika if you have any queries or you need help with your product planning, itineraries, or if you need any information on openings and things like that, you can easily reach out to us. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, a short preview of Greater Palm Springs and do uh, make sure to include it in your itinerary. It's a beautiful destination. I know doing a presentation and just showing a video doesn't do justice. I've been to Greater Palm Springs um, a couple of times and it's one of the most beautiful uh, destinations. It's just like a Hollywood movie set. So your clients will not be disappointed. So yeah, and thank you so much for joining in and I'm going to hand it over to Bhavika. Thank you so much, Christina, for the great uh, quick trip of Greater Palm Springs. Uh, we're now opening up our Q&As. Uh, my email is on the screen for your reference. Uh, just so that everyone knows, we're going to be sending out all the handout pages as well as the contact emails, uh, along with a copy of today's presentation, which will be on the Google Drive link. It will come from Travel Biz Monitor in the follow-up email. So uh, I have a couple of questions for Lake Tahoe. So Kaveri, I'm just going to read them out and you can answer those. Sure, Bhavika. OK, so Dipti asks, are all activities at Heavenly Village opening for 2021 summer? Oh, yeah. So most of the activities, I would say, are open. For example, MS Dixie, which is our cruise paddle wheeler. The hiking trails are uh, open. The gondola ride is open. So yeah, most of the activities I would say are open at the moment. Of course, with the Thank you for cap that. on the capacity. Perfect. So we have another question from Krishna. Uh, in which month does the heavenly gondola start for visitors in Lake Tahoe? Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, uh, it's actually question. open throughout the year. So you don't have to really worry about the season or a month. It's open throughout the year. Thank you. And 
Okay, we have another question from uh, Nivedita, which is the best area to stay in Lake Tahoe? Uh, all the hotels which are located in South Lake Tahoe are, I mean, they offer you a great location. But if you're looking for some beach or some lakefront hotels, I can share the list with you as well. Just to give you an example, the Landing Resort and Spa is by the Waters property. It's a really nice property, especially for all the FIT travelers. So, yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, we also have another question from Supriyo. Uh, I think he's asking for the entry tickets for the gondola, the entry point, as well as the duration of the MS Dixie cruise. All right. Uh, MS Dixie cruise can take two hours. Uh, and then it's majorly operational thrice a day, morning, uh, afternoon, and evening. I would, of course, recommend it doing either in the morning or afternoon so that you can enjoy the beauty around. And regarding the tickets, uh, you will also have to check the uh, details on Heavenly Gondola website because I won't be able to let you know the price of those tickets. And the entry point is going to be Heavenly Village only. So, yeah, from Heavenly Village, you can take a gondola ride. That's great. And we have another question from Nalin about uh, Indian restaurants in Mammoth Lake. Hi, Nalin. I know that you have done uh, so what groups. Uh, in, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, hello, Nalin. Yeah, okay. Hello, Nalin. I know I've, you have done groups to Mammoth Lakes uh, in the past, and uh, I'm hoping they were all good and everybody enjoyed their trip. Regarding the Indian restaurant, as you said, we do not have any Indian restaurant at the moment in Mammoth Lakes. But uh, you can check with the local suppliers or, or the if they can help you uh, in preparing some sort of basic Indian food for you. And uh, the next time you might as well can contact me and then I can try to uh, I can try uh, to contact you with the suppliers in Mammoth Lakes, but I can't assure you on that, but of course we can give it a try. Wonderful. And guys, I think the biggest question that everyone would be having today is when will the US reopen for Indian visitors and when will the visa for tourists open up in India? So we do not have any info on this currently, but we are certain that once the situation uh, subsides in India, once the cases plateau continuously for a longer period of duration, things may open up, but we are unable to comment at this point of time as things are very dynamic. If you have any more questions, please feel free to put them in the chat box. And a small request from our end, uh, we hope you enjoyed today's webinar. We put out a feedback uh, survey link, which will take you less than a minute to fill out. It's under the handouts page. It would be great if you could fill that in for us. Let us know uh, what you'd like to see, what you enjoyed, if you have any suggestions. We are more than happy to hear that. For anything else, uh, feel free to reach out uh, to me on my email. And we also have our Travel Trade mm -hmm. website. Uh, under that, we have a DMC uh, receptive tour operator list, uh, which you can kind of look up. It has local American suppliers as well as you know the popular Indian DMCs, uh, which you may already be working with. So I guess we no longer have any more questions. Uh, we can end today's webinar. We really hope you enjoyed the little road trip that we took around uh, the US. And we'll be following it up with an email with all the information uh, for your reference. So our next program uh, of the Chalo USA webinar series, part three is going to be around city escapes for the summer. And it's going to cover destinations like Houston in Texas, San Diego in California, countryside of Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, as well as Atlanta and Georgia. It's going to take place on the 15th of June at 3 p.m. India time. So we hope to see you soon. And you're also going to be redirected to the registration page at the end of this webinar. Um, so yeah, big thank you from all of us uh, here. We, we really enjoyed hosting you today and feel free to contact us for any more information.